Ooh, what's going on here? My words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of kind. No, no, Mara. No. We talked about this. Talon. Kirama, certainly we could come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. Enough, Marama. We've all heard of the dragons and their return. There's no need to use them as an excuse to harass our customers. I don't have any business with you. Very so well, get Talon. Get out of my face. What a I'll bitch. remove myself from this den of iniquity. We're not kicking you out. Just keep the sermons at the temple and let us all sin in peace. Sounds like someone's got a side quest around here. You have some nerve. Come hey, you. Here after what you did to Mara, to uh, I. Uh, some, one of these guys has a side quest. Wonderful. Where to begin? Someone has to. Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. After all that rabble they made, someone's got to have some sort of quest around here. And I figured it would have been this guy. Of course. I'd be more than happy to add a donation to our charity box. Right now, the best you could provide is coins. We need all the help we can get. Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. So you've got nothing for me, do you? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? I'm actually not, no. Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. I'll buy an amulet. No, thank you. So you didn't give me anything. Where's that other guy? Oh, you? Yeah, hey, you. You have some nerve coming back here after what you did to Kirava. I don't even know who that is, and I don't even know what I did to them, so whatever. They're vermin. Garbage. They're exactly what makes this city such a horrible place to live. How appropriate they should live in the rat way with the rest of the trash. That's great. Um, I don't think he's gonna give anything. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band. But all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Yeah, I've got to have those. But I don't know if they're in my inventory, to be honest. Um, let's see. Let's go to miscellaneous. I They might be at home. Flat, yeah, they're probably at home. Well, Looking that for sucks. Work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Good man, you won't regret it. Sounds like an awful lot of work there. Talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Rifton. You'll be well paid for your time. Sure hope so. I'll meet you outside of town. Man. You in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. The fishing? Only the best in all of Rifton. I own Rifton Fishery. Started out with a single fishing pole, and now I have an entire building and two boats to my name. Not bad for a middle-aged Nord, eh? Too bad I haven't had the same success helping this city shed its poverty. And even Nord thinks I'm wasting my time trying. But I disagree. 
Wow, that's great. Uh, I really don't feel like talking to anyone else. Alright, I gotta get those flawless bullshits for him and then something and... Yeah, shut up. Did I kill her or something? I'm not sure. Uh, what's going on down here? Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. The hell? I can interest you in one of our special drinks. Let hmm. me know. Oh shit. He's running down here. I'm trying to get out, man. Let me go. If you don't let me go, I'm killing you. You don't... I swear to God. Move! He's not gonna move, is he? Is there something I can do for yeah, you? Yeah, you can get the fuck out of my way. That's what you can do. If you don't get out of the way, I'm killing you. Seriously. Like... Come on now, man. Good lord. I don't even remember. I, yeah, there's something in here that I need to do. What the hell do I need to do in here? Let's see. What what quest am I even on? Speak to Maven Blackbriars in there? Okay. Well, I guess that's what I had to do. Then I got sidetracked. He or she is upstairs. I just need to figure out a way to get up there. And you, you were mean to me. What do you want, man? I didn't do anything. Get away from me. Seriously, it's being all weird. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. I didn't burn it down. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled was going to cost you? I'm gonna guess ten gold. Oh, I'll beat your ass, lady. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. I should just kill her, seriously. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand, it's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Well, you can rely on me. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Head to the Bannered Mare in White Run. Look for Malice Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. That's cool. I have to, uh. Ooh. Don't tell me. Sibby and Louis Latrush? Well, Sibby is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Really? Now that is interesting. Well, I'm ratting that guy out. Then you should know that Louis and I have a certain history. Tell you what, go along with his plans for now. I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with Louis. We ratted his ass out. We sure did. Have some nerve you shut up. I'm trying to get your stupid amethyst drama. bullshit for your ring. Go on then. Any rate. Well, anyway, like I was saying before, that this would probably be the longest standing single player game and whatnot that I would be doing. I know Killing Floor has more, but that's, you know, a multiplayer thing that you just do over and over. It's not really a story. It just depends on how much you want to play it. Fallout 3. See, do I have any flawless ones? Yep, I do. I only need three of these. Oh, I need three of these bad boys. Haha! -ha! That's done whenever I want to go back. It's probably like under miscellaneous, too. Which, whatever. I know Mario has been going on for a long time, but that's like several different, many, many different hacks over a long period of time. So I'm just, I'm just saying one single player game. That's all I'm saying. And we're at the Bannered Mayor. That guy's just looking at the door for some reason. Have a little chat with whoever the hell we need to talk to in here, which is going to be this guy. Or girl. Can't a man guy. In peace? I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabyarn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. Sounds mean. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabyarn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain 
and hires someone else to do the dirty work. This is all rather mean. Remember, but anyway, sure. Let's get out of here. <laughs>